So Lovable have just released agent mode in beta to a number of users. Somehow I'm one of these users. So today we're going to test out and see is it really all that? Essentially what is agent mode? We're going to check it out, try it and try and build a new SaaS. So what's new? Smarter code edits, 90% fewer errors and improved generation. 90% fewer errors is crazy, especially considering Lovable works on credits. So it uses a credit per message and if it can get it 90% fewer errors, the amount of credits you can save could be crazy. Also, new capabilities, you can now search the web and generate images as well as some other stuff inside of Lovable, meaning like you can build a website and you can now get it to generate images as well as search the web for information to add. So it's really, you know, moving up. And then adaptive pricing, pay based on actions, not messages, which is pretty cool because then you don't have to spend one credit per message. If you want to change something now with agent mode, it could be like half of a credit or something like that. But still, as you probably know if you're on the channel, I'm not a fan of credits. Usage stuff, it's an absolute nightmare. I don't know how to define how complex something is. Anyway, so we're going to go on. We're going to give it a try. Um, what's this now? Teams is now pro. Cool. Very cool. Even more updates. Nice. So introducing beta mode. Essentially, let me scroll down. New capabilities. So the coolest thing is it can search your code base and locate exact files, functions, or components. It can read files on demand. It can inspect logs and network activity. That's pretty cool because then it removes more of the technical stuff for you. Searches the web in real time, that's awesome. And generating edit images is, is fantastic as well. And so what does this agent really mean? Essentially, it now thinks, right? So for every request, it will interpret what you're asking, explore the code base, uncover missing context, make the changes, auto fix issues, then wrap up. So it will actually do the th thing, which is super cool. Pricing wise, as I was saying to you, things can be like, part of a credit so for example here it's saying in normal chat mode right each message is one credit whereas now it's actually part of a credit so for example a simple message that reads one file and edits one file is 0.8 credits it's actually quite a lot on the other hand a message that reads five files four edits and one image generation will cost 2.8 that sounds a lot more than just three times that but whatever in any case you see the gist is essentially now it's usage based which is super cool. So let's head in and we'll get it to make something. So I couldn't think of what kind of SaaS I want to make from the get-go. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually just get it to make something that it finds on the internet. That's my idea. So let's get started. So first let me open up an old project and we're going to go in and enable it. So this agent mode here, it has been auto-enabled. Very cool. So we can see here, oops. That's enabled just as they say here. For reference, this is actually I'm trying to make a YouTube description generator SaaS, which could be pretty cool. So anyway, we're going to go and we want it to do whatever it wants. So I'm going to proper vibe code this in lovebo.dev and then let's just add something here. So let me see. So we're saying search internet for the most in-demand profitable SaaS and build this out for me. And I'll say go. And then we'll see what it comes up with. So the first thing that we should notice here, I check agent mode is enabled, yes, is it now thinks, which is brand new, as well as searching. So you can see here it's now searching, which is cool. So I can't see any deeper um, than this. So I can't click in here, but I can see what it's doing kind of. So it's searched here, search this, search this, blah, blah, blah. It's now coming back with information. So it's saying top profitable SaaS cat. AI pillow. Oh, Jesus, is that it done already? So essentially, it's coming away with the top profitable SaaS categories, and then their recommendation is an AI meeting summarizer, which is actually a really bad idea because now even ChatGPT does this natively. But in any case, let's let it do it. It's probably six months to a year too late for this. So I'll just say, sure, let's do it. So now that it's gone away and searched for that information, it should come back and, and actually do it. Now, something that I think is really cool about how this is going to work now is that I used to hate it in the lovable.dev ads that I would get on YouTube. It would always be like, I go to ChatGPT and I write a prompt and I make sure that the prompt's looking good and then I put it in lovable. And I was thinking, why would you start lovable by saying go to ChatGPT first? It should always start in the product that it's going to use. And it should always stay in there. So it's nice now that it can have this um, agentic autonomy to then actually go away and do this. So it says it's building it out. If we flip up here, 
to the code base. We can see that it started to create the code. Let me move my head. You can see here, looking good, looking good. So, it's doing stuff. It's editing source index, blah, blah, blah. Just using the standard stack that it normally does. And then it has this readme. Da, da, da. Very cool. And so if you're pretty new to Lovable, for reference, you have here, up the top, you can connect it to GitHub and you can connect it to Superbase. Superbase is a database. It's essentially a wrapper for something called Postgres, which is Postgres. It's essentially a type of SQL database. If you don't know what that is, essentially it's just tables. So basically, everything just works as tables like this, which looks complicated and it can get complicated, but fundamentally, it's a pretty simple concept, but it's just got layers built on top of it. So this is like a SQL, and then we'll have PSQL, and then we have Superbase, which is a super simple way to use it. I'll quickly go and show you Superbase whilst that's running. So we have here build, and a weekend scale to millions. So if we go to something here, if you sign up, sign in, you can connect with your GitHub or your email or whatever you want to use. GitHub, for reference, is a code repo. So if you're coming here and you're just full Mr. Vibe code, right, you may have no idea what any of this is. Well, GitHub is a place where you store your code, right? So you sync it to a project in GitHub. Now this GitHub, let me see here. If I go to GitHub, I can quickly show you what it looks like. But essentially, this is GitHub here, and you have your repositories, which is essentially just like little places for code. So if I go into here, for example, you can see I have my, my information here. And then if I go deeper inside here, you see the files that I actually use to code this up. So you can connect it to this so that then you can actually look at it as if it was real code that someone has made. Also, that's pretty cool. Got all those followers. Anyway, because you don't normally get any followers in GitHub. And boom, there we have it. So we have no free credits left now. It's used all of my five credits to research and create this. You can see it's edited all the files. It hasn't appearingly searched online for anything or done any agentica stuff. Um, we have here, though, the big summary of what it's actually done. So we have here landing page components, key features. So if we have a look here, it looks pretty cool. And it looks like this image has been generated. It will tell me here if it has, should. It, there we go, look, generated image here. So it actually generated this image, which is just amazing to have that um, in here. Then we have this look here, smart templates, real-time translations. Loved by 50,000 professionals. Now, the fact that I'd done this without me even asking, as well as made all of these reviews, be aware that it can do this without you even asking. So some people that have these on their website, it might be a load of rubbish. Um, and then we have here the plans. And it looks so cool, man. So let me see if I can actually do anything here, if it actually works. No. No. Nothing here. But what you can then do is you can come over here and ask it to then... Make the buttons work, implement, you know, AI or whatever. You can give it an API key and it will actually store it up in Superbase, like I was saying, that database backend, because then it's secret, it's private, it's secure. Um, you're only exposing it to Lovable as opposed to keeping it on GitHub, which is super bad practice. So, yeah, really quite impressed with how good this is in one shot and even just the idea that it can generate images and that it can actually come up with this idea all by itself. Pretty impressed. But I do know, like everything, you know, when it spins this up, this is super cool. But then to actually make it do the things you want and to be the degree of sophistication that you're after can be really hard and sometimes you need to take it out of Lovable and learn to actually code. Also, side note, don't know about you, but this kind of, like, layout I'm starting to get tired of because this is the standard type of layout that they always make for all of these and all of them are made from Lovable. But anyway, that's me for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe. Go and check out Lovable with the first link in the description below. Let me know if you've built anything cool or if you're planning to. And as always, come and join my free AI community where I have templates on how to create automations as well as how to use tools like this. So, I'll see you there.